I was telling my husband, I said, I can do what I uh, used to do when I was 20 years old. It just takes me two weeks to recover. So I'm not going to try that tonight. But like the two in the morning, gently rest upon my heart. And like you do every single morning, gently rest.
Hallelujah. Everybody's standing. We're getting ready to go. This has been a wonderful celebration. I could not have asked for anything better than this. No one walking, no one walking. This is the most important part of the service. I announced on the radio on Sunday, Brother Andre, he posed a question to me. He said, what do you say to the person that has given up on God? What do you say to the person that says, I don't believe God loves me? I've seen some of the things that are taking place in the world. And I said, first of all, I want you to know that God's love is so massive. There's a little song that says this. The love of God is greater far than tongue or men can ever tell. It flows beyond the highest star and reaches to the lowest hell. So no matter where you are, You may have reached the highest star. Or you may feel like you are in the lowest hell. The love of God finds you there. And tonight, if you say, Sister Judy, I want to know this love, this love that has kept you these 60 years through the ups and the downs, the ins and the outs, the disappointments, the joys. You see, it rains on the just and the unjust. Life happens, but for the righteous, we have a safety of an umbrella. And so we all go through, we all, we all go through life. But when you're nestled in the bosom of the Holy One, it makes it a little bit easier. If you want to know that God, if you're in this room and you feel him tugging at your heart, it would give me such great pleasure on this my 60th birthday that you would come to know the one life everlasting if that's you come on come on down to this altar come on come on there's healing for your sorrow come on healing for your pain healing for your pain come on find yourself here come on healing for your spirit and shelter shelter from Lord, send your healing. Lord, send your healing. Oh, you're in the room. Come on. For this freedom, yes. there is a coming healing to heal, to heal the soul. I know you're in the room. I don't want to embarrass you tonight. There's some of you that have been going through some mental anguish. You've been going through some stress. The peace of the Lord be to you tonight, and he wants to give it to you. If you just want to come to the altar and just remain here for a few moments and let the peace of the Lord that passes all understanding flood your heart and your soul. If that's you, come on. One more time. There's healing. There's healing for your son. That's it. Come on. Healing for your pain. Healing for your pain. Healing for your spirit. to her. There's shelter from the rain. Lord, send the healing. Lord, send the healing. For this we know. For this we know. There is a coming Gilead. Oh yes. Come on, let's sing that again. There is a coming Gilead. Oh. 
angel, come on. Heal for your soul. Minister, heal. Healing for your soul. Oh. Healing for your soul. And Father, as we stand in this moment right now, we all lift up our hands to you. We thank you, God, for this time, for this intersection that we could converge together to be in the house of the Lord. And Father, even though they've come from near and far, from out of town and from locally, to worship the Lord and to bless your name for my life, Father, I return, O oh God, to them the blessing of the Lord that make rich and adds no sorrow. I pray the peace of God that passes all understanding upon each and every one under the sound of my voice and even those that are watching online. Father, thank you, God, that you've not brought us to this place to leave us. But God, no matter what we're going through, we thank you and we praise you, God, that you know the end from the beginning. You are a good God. Hallelujah. You are a good, good Father. And we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. But Father, as we are about to leave this place, we celebrate knowing that you have brought us. Hallelujah. And you will continue to bring us. Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. And we honor you now in Jesus' name. Come on, everybody, lift up your hands and bless him. Healing for the soul. Healing for the soul. So now receive my strength, my child. So now lift up your hands, receive, for I will do. I do it 
in you. If you believe that, lift up your hands. And Lord, we thank you for your word tonight. We thank you for the strength for the journey. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we stand in that strength tonight. Thank you for the new thing that you're doing in us. Thank you that as we crossed over into 5784, the year of the door, God, that you're opening doors for us that no man could open. You're shutting doors that no man could shut. And we thank you, God, for the new thing that you're allowing to arise on the inside of us. And we thank you for the strength for the journey to move forward with boldness to decree and declare your word and your will to this lost and dying generation. We lift up our hands and we receive it right now. Hallelujah. And we say, do it. Do it. you with the love of the Lord.